Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, I gotta be lighter. Uh, so I'll make it lighter. Yeah, well, do it. Just relax, okay? Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> never. Do it never to the camera he didn't like. <laughs> oh, you know how they have. <laughs> Stuart, stop playing like that. Stuart, Stuart, remember, open your, open your gown. Like, no, like, in the back, in the back. Show your gown. <laughs> all right, all right. I want to stay on camera. I learned to touch the bottom of my height. <laughs> I'm in the hospital. Today. Stop playing. Just, just sit down. I had a great soul search experience. All right. I want to thank Natasha. Sit down and leave. She made this really possible for me to be here. <laughs> Not that she bit me, but um, <laughs> she suggested it. Oh, uh, you know what I saw that, um, uh, the, the thing that looks the thing on your finger, it doesn't really look like a scratch. It's not a scratch. It is a bite. Right. And they two on each side. I mean, I she did. I looked one on each side. I couldn't really tell like, right away what happened. So I'm thinking, like, you know, but you're right. So you, you were hoping she scratched you, but she really beat you. Mm -hmm. I'm always in the camera. You know how boring it is just to see me? So tell me who's your favorite hospital person? Shibar Mosca. Oh my goodness. Lie down in the bed. Lie in the bed. And let somebody take care of you. Because you're the star. Shibar is a shawl. It's about Lucky and Munchkin now. You're the real stars. Shibaraska would be nothing without Munchkin and Lucky. Well, Moshi Munchkin. And of course, let's see. I can never do this right. Can you, how do you, how do, you do it like this? No, not that. Don't show my house with that on site. Okay. Do this. Do this, do this. Do what? Oh, oh you good. Okay. Oh. So. <laughs> do this. Okay. Oh, I mean. This is our documentary of being. Hey, stop playing. Ooh. <gasps> oh my God! I'm sorry. <laughs> you are so cool, man. So say something for the camera. Let me get the background with the window. Cause you're so, you're an art graduate, you're a nurse, and you're just a sexy mother. So make love to the camera. Show me. Do something strip for me. Shit. Oh no, come and do the nurse thing. Like, nurse, I need help. Hey, come here, come here, come here. You know what the character is? Excuse me. Nurse? Yes? Hi. Can you help Hi. me? Hi. I have a problem. Um, Where? My muscles are freaking right here. Where, right here? Yeah, right here. Oh, nurse, that's pretty close right to my muscles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. You have a little privacy. We don't have privacy. We we do everything in the open. Oh, you're beautiful, just like my sexy. So where where does this where does this hurt? Right in my eyes, you know. That's nasty, disgusting. The Lord bless you. The Lord protect. Like, Oh, you know, I saw something cool last night on the History Channel. Mm -hmm. They were showing how, like, all that Bible stuff, nothing but, like, wars and military intelligence. How they explain, like, Moses crossing the Red Sea. Oh, well, yeah? And they explained, they showed the geographical area and they took the lines from it. And all they did was kill each other. That's all they looked. It's like a strategy for war. The Bible? Yeah. It was really deep, the Old Testament. It was just really blew my mind. It was like, I knew it, but I didn't know it. And it's kind of boring, but...
it makes you look at it much differently. Maybe just one theory, it's not maybe really all what the happened. Old, all the famous prophets that people forget, they were military leaders also. And that means they actually killed people. And they didn't even um. said it in the Bible, it's like killing people left and right. And they used some of the strategies, and see like famous war leaders used the strategies even from that. I just thought it was kind of interesting. You, you have know? a, you got a roommate, an old lady, they're know. bringing it. I'm bringing another bed. So you think I'm taking care of my muscle problems? Perfect. Easily do. <laughs> oh my god. This is the one that does the parents with staying in the hospital. Seriously. But the way you've been treating me, like, I'm mean, treating you good every day. But I, the way you came, I told my mom that you came in, you hugged me, you kissed me, you brought me food, and you called me, and, you know, and then her come by. I thought you didn't want to call your mother for some reason. Well, the reason I called my mother is because I got spoiled by you, and I, I'm gonna, you left and I felt sad, and I wanted no more sympathy. So I called their mommy, and oh my god, you know, she's a drama queen. So she is like, I told mom, don't panic, I'm in the hospital. And I can hear the voice. It's just like, oh my God. Oh, if I should have said it like that. And then it shows that you love, you know, people care about you. And that's what it's all about. This is my last little testament. And I want to thank Natasha, most importantly, my mother, and her, and Stevie for motivating me. So. What, Stevie visited you? No. I'm too busy partying. <laughs> he probably would. He'd be funny. You can call him, right? No, he doesn't have a phone. But what I'm trying to say with camera, these are the most interesting people in my life. And that shows how much they care about me on the hospital. And mostly Natasha. But without you, I'd be zero. So I just want to say that. Okay, put it on pause. Am I even on camera?